Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Marvel's Midnight Suns. Let's continue our normal run here. Just finished up a mission with, um, with Robbie and Magic. Uh, Blaze turning evil, but uh, hopefully, hopefully things are going to get better soon. Uh, we got to go talk to Robbie. We got to go talk to Magic. Still going to get Rwanda's friendship leveled up, so we'll have to figure that out. Maybe we can find a gift for her. Blade and I, we've worked with Johnny before. Heard about the Limbo adventure. Where are they? Um, you're there. Where is? Well, let's go talk to Agatha real quick since she's over here. Unreliable. Perhaps Ileana mistrusts me because my facial hair resembles Mephisto's. Robbie's hero worship is among my chief worries these days. Despite my skepticism, you managed to retrieve the parchment. The parchment of power is here, within the walls of the Abbey. I assume you overheard Robbie or someone talking about it? No. I could feel its power the moment it arrived. It was a numbing dread, the likes of which I have never experienced before. I worry for Robbie. You do not think he can handle it? Sarah and Strange probably won't bring this up around him, but that parchment is not just random Latin phrases. It contains the words of Cathon himself. They are as dangerous as nuclear weapons. I have already heard those words spoken aloud. Blaze read from the page and I saw what it could do. The power it unleashed. The hellfire and destruction is only the beginning, I'm afraid. The page will not be with Robbie long. If Stark's plan succeeds, we will be rid of Cathan's only toehold in our world. Perhaps. The parchment is just one page of many, all carrying Cathan's vile message. Those pages were scattered across the globe. The hope was that they would remain hidden forever. Yet man, in his infinite wisdom, decided to collect them and bind them into the Darkhold. And now Robbie has the final page. I pray he is strong enough to carry it. All right, let's, I guess, talk about waypoint here. I'll save my congratulations for later. Right and I'm not clear what we're going to do about it. Now we let the post. Ileana called Limbo home. I guess that makes sense that Robbie's out at his workshop. I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's got to be done. If I don't, no one else will. I am sorry you are stuck with the burden of the parchment, Robbie. Don't be. It's fine. If you need help, I... I said it's fine. If there is something you need to get off your chest... You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. I just want to be alone right now. Thanks. I see things are going well for you, too. Oh, she's down there. Okay. I was like, where is she? I actually got several boxes we can go open up. Hmm. 
Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an Avenger. <laughs> You're not that bad, Ilyana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. You wanted to know who was behind the Solus. Now we all know. How do you know Mephisto? He was the Dark Lord who kidnapped me from this realm and dragged me to Limbo. He raised me as his daughter. He's the only father I ever knew. And my biggest enemy. I am sorry, Ileana. I know how difficult that can be. Well, I am not sorry. I got the father I needed to become who I am. Without Mephisto, there would be no magic. No one to open portals for you to walk through. Just as without Lilith, there would be no you. No hunter. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child, gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. Ileana, are you feeling guilty for what you did to him? Me? Guilty? <laughs> no, never. I will never let guilt weigh down my conscience, and neither should you when it comes to what you need to do. Take care of your mother in the end. Don't hesitate, and don't show mercy. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Minus one friendship. We're never going to be besties. All right. Anything else we want to do right now? I don't think so. I guess we'll run out and grab this one because it's close. Wait, was it not this one? Uh, it's the one down, down here. Wait, what? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went the wrong way. It's the one up here. I guess we can grab this epic one just because it's right next to us. Good enough. Let's go and go to sleep. Prepare for another day. Mephisto is no one we wish to trifle with. Alright, um, we got Gamma Coils. Still gotta get the friendship with Wanda. Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? 
You're starting to sound an awful lot like caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Or oh, Robbie. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. If luck is with us, you will not have to carry the parchment for long. I can carry it for as long as necessary. However long Blaze had it, I can keep it for as long or longer. I did not mean to imply you did not have what it takes. But I do have what it takes. And I don't need luck. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. The forces of the parchment and the Darkhold are not to be trifled with, Robbie. You cannot expect to read the page the way you would a normal book. Oh boy, here we go. More of that. This is beyond you, Robbie. I've been hearing this junk since I asked to see my first R-rated movie as a kid. Guess what? I snuck into those movies and I can sneak a peek at the parchment. Trust me. This is not the same as childhood misbehavior. You are gambling not just with your life, but the lives of all those who love you. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. <laughs> Everybody's at each other's throats. It's not good. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm going to turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Wh 
Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Uh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can <laughs> tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself up. Oh, you are going to love this. You want the magic highlights, Tony? Here's your highlight. Hmm. Drop two cards for a hero. Immediately gain multiple training levels. Hm. Interesting. I mean, obviously I want to do this at some point. I don't know if I should do that right now. Or do some of these other ones. I guess we'll do this now. Just so we have it in our back pocket. Doesn't mean we have to do the next mission related to it right away, I guess. Coil. Let's get to work. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, sometimes I even impress myself. Oh, pretty good abilities here, I guess. Um, we do not have an upgraded Lembo's Grasp. We haven't really been using the portals that much, but... Probably should do more of it. It will actually create a portal, which is actually kind of the missing piece for some of that. On redraw, gain one fast. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. It makes it free and it's only one turn. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already got one of those, so I don't think we really need... Don't get me wrong, I like the redraw, but we could potentially enhance the one we got at some point or do something different. Um, we don't really need this one either, do we? This emulate's already upgraded as well. But again, I don't know that we're going to use the knockback kick here. Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. Honestly, probably what we'll do is probably grab you. And just you and just get rid of you, like burn you down. That should be fine. I could have done a reroll, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, don't we'll go with that. Uh, I guess Doctor Strange is our next closest to five. Well, sure. Even a sorcerer supreme. Back again. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Well, we do have enough hero cousins to finally start doing some of these. I mean, it takes patience and makes it like super, super crazy, which it's already pretty strong. But as we're doing harder and harder missions, these are going to get more important to get more and more damage. New and improved. 
I definitely want air superiority. That's a pretty strong one. Constant innovation. That's the probably all we're gonna do for right now. Uh, actually, if we got others that we can do that are not ready for more heroism ones, then that's fine. I can or heroic essence ones. Not sure. Wept us. Actually, we didn't get rid of the web toss. We got rid of the web. We might put it back in now. This upgrade, we'll take a look at it. It didn't cost us that much. fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana. Then you are correct. Surely you understand this is how Stark is with everyone, do you not? I understand it, intellectually. Yet the outrage still burns in my heart. Fair. Just do us all a favor and try not to break his jaw, alright? We need him in one piece. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the parchment of power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll show him. How are we going to destroy that page? I'd offer to use the Staff of One, but I think the parchment is beyond its power. Thanks for checking in on Robbie, Hunter. Did he mention that he promised to take me for a spin in the Hellride? I don't think Caretaker wants me in the library. Are you certain? Oh yeah. She did that thing where she squinted at me, then cleared her throat about five times. Ah, I am very familiar with that. The library used to be my second home in the Abbey. I think it'll be good for me to be in there. But I don't want to push Sarah any further. Sarah cannot forbid you from doing your job. Testing her boundaries isn't something I want to do. I'm sure you understand. The Scarlet Witch needs access to books. Nobody sees it otherwise. I suppose. I'll swing by tomorrow. See if it's any better. Okay. Um, I actually have no idea what you would want. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, something simple like the crystal ball, maybe. I don't know. I could try one of the other ones though. Sure, we'll give her the music box. I doubt it. No, she actually one loved of my it. My favorite activities. Cool, that worked. 
that should get her up enough friendship to get us another level with her, which will complete that mission. That is good. We have a war room upgrade now. I like where this is going. Oh, See you that soon. looks good. And is that everybody? Nope. Looks we got to talk to Magic. Fine. Speak. Are you all right? Why would I not be? We encountered Mephisto. The. I thought you might want to talk about it. I do not. I understand. Take care, Eliana. <sighs> Wait. You did not have to tell me this. But you did. This I will not forget. Um... I guess we could try and invite somebody else on a, an outing. Who do we, where are we at with people's friendships? Let's see, who's... Obviously, Carol's pretty close. Actually, can we invite you, Dr. Strange, out? We've already invited you on Haven, haven't we? Yeah, we've already gotten you out on Haven. So it's really just the people that we haven't done, which are most of the people we just don't have that much friendship with. I guess we could take you out for something. Eh, I'll come back to that. Stark's asked for his shot, and he thinks he can nail it. All right, let's do a mission. Let's see if we get anything somewhat good for us. What we got here? We got hard mission, easy mission, normal mission. There's the story mission we got to do the research for. What do we really need? I mean, blueprints, I'm not so worried about. Obviously, we're going to get gamma coils no matter what. More artifacts. I don't know how much we need more artifacts. Credits would be useful because I think we're going to get some more stuff than these credits. You know what, honestly? We might go for this one. It's a hard mission. But... Maintain at least 50% health. I think that's going to be pretty tough. Okay, have three enemies targeting magic, which would give us more credits. I'm going to try to get that one. We're going to do that. We probably want to send probably the best team we've got. I mean, uh, Ghost Rider would be one of them, I would imagine. No, I kind of like this setup, to be honest. The alarm can be triggered once per turn to bring more enemies into the battle. We want to defeat as many enemies as possible. Never collect and never let up card from key enemies to preserve your momentum and draw more cards. Defeat at least 12 enemy units. Defeat even more for extra rewards. Show no mercy. Got it. Confirmed. So we actually want to hit the alarm. Actually, it's, actually, it's going to be a tough mission. All right, we got a knockback quick. Got the trap door. Got the limbo portal. Which again, could give us more redraws. I don't know that we need the more redraws, so I think we might just take this as is. I'm sorry, no, it gives us the plus one move, that's right. But I, still, I don't think we need that. We got several quicks. I also can double heroism, which is probably... We've got a lot that we can get from, but it's still going to be better than nothing. So let's go ahead and grab that first. Welcome, assistance. All right. Uh, I mean, a quick jab probably makes sense here on one of the little minions here. Watch out. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. And then I think we will open up a limbo portal, but that's going to be free. Doesn't matter where we put it. 
Um, probably put it over, I don't know, back here somewhere maybe. Maybe we can find a way to knock those guys back into it. Oh, we gotta fix the direction. That's right. I remember now. That's right. Um, maybe I put it over here so we can like shock some guys. Or I could just put it where it's going to knock into one of these other people. So anything we knock through, it's going to knock into you, for example. Actually, this right here will probably be fine, because if it doesn't hit her... Uh, it's actually scooched up a little bit, maybe. If it doesn't hit her, it would presumably hit the, the thing behind it, which would be fine. If Like, if she moves out of the way or something. Okay. Um... Knock back quick. I mean, I guess it's fine. We want to get rid of this guy. I didn't realize the portal only lasted one round. I haven't really been using the portals, to be honest, so... Did not realize it did that. Um, biggest reason to use the move enemy, the trap door, is because it... Uh, gets us uh, more heroism. What I could do is potentially move one of these guys... into a path here, so they can knock back into, like each other here. So I think that would be fine. Ready? You will leave this world. So in theory now Hunter can knock you back into somebody. Yes, a card draw. Another quick slash. Um, on Kale will give us more heroism. This is actually really, really good. Unfortunately, we can't quite knock you back to there, but we definitely want the KO here, so we'll just knock you back here. Uh, actually, we'll do this. I mean, obviously, that would work even better. That was something. All right, plenty of heroism. <laughs> plenty of heroism. Discard your hand, then draw three cards, refund two card plays. That's pretty good. Knock back in any direction on KO, draw a card. It's a 200 damage ability. That is extremely strong. I mean, I think we just knock you back into that back there, maybe? Just keep piling a little tiny bits of damage onto her. Too weak for this fight. Damage an enemy quick. Targets targeting her does more damage, which none of these are currently. On KO, draw a card. Which unfortunately, none of these are going to KO. Um, let's say there's no way to get a KO here, is there? Not really. Not without a little bit more damage on it. I mean, I could go straight into a never let up now. To get a couple more card plays. This is a free though, so. We probably want to do something else first. Uh, we don't want to do the Holy Spark because we would be capped out on heroism. So we definitely want to do one of these other things. So. Doesn't really matter what we do, I guess. We're not going to get the KO, but we can still just keep piling down damage here, I guess. Let's do the never let up. Yeah, it's a good time to do it. Oh, 
Holy Burst would kill two and almost kill the third. It's not bad. Your fate is sealed. We need to KO enemies that are talking magic. We just don't have that available to us right now. We do another never, never let up. I don't know if this is really what we want to do right now. Um, I could just do the photon beam. That feels a little bit weird. I want to redraw the reinforcements for right now. Okay, soul blast. That's actually really good because we want the... Uh, and we'll get a counter back. Okay, that's actually really good. And we can KO this, which will be one of the enemies that's targeting her. So that's really smart, really good for us. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we do here, so let's just knock you off. Now is my now that was something. I have no respect for mindless followers. Right, so you're soul bound, which means you'll just spread out your health here in a moment, right? Oh, it's not an actual KO because it's. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we could do the alarm. I don't know if we want to do the alarm right now. We'll probably do the alarm next turn. I mean, we could just go right into another never let up. But now we're a little bit lower on her. That would get us down to three heroes. I mean, I don't know if that's what I want. I think we just end the turn and we'll just take what we get. My sisters and I will soon be rewarded. We honor us. We've got company. All right, we got a pretty Your decent hand. Some generators. Um, some time. Tear them to shreds. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and do the alarm thing. Just to see what we get. These fools can't handle you. Okay. This is fine. We got gather. Uh, we got limbo's grass, which will give us more heroism. Does create a portal. Draw a bunch of cards for her. That actually would be really good. Yeah, I think we'll take that first. That's a lot of cards to draw. Go binary, that's probably a really good idea. Um, I'd like to regroup, but I don't want to use a card play right now. I think we'll take the photon beam and just damage a whole bunch of mobs right here. Can we get more than four? Uh, come on. Not really. We'll take these four, kill us two in the back. That's gonna be fine. Unfortunately, none of these are targeting magic right now. I mean, the gather would be probably a good finisher right here. Again, none of these are, are targeting her, though. Do we have another quick? Well, we don't have a quick, do we? I don't really want to do the never let up right now. I mean, I might save it for next turn. I guess we could do a redraw here. We don't need the hero combo, really. We really don't need patience. We're not going to have enough time for that anyway. I ain't got no patience. Uh, okay, still got the hero comp. That's fine, whatever. I think we're going to do the gather, because we can do a gather on all of these. Which will kill everything. Except for the dog. Oh, no, there we go. We got the dog, too. Can we hit the alarm again? No. Okay. 
And this will just finish off literally everything here. All right. It's a ridiculously strong ability. I see I am not the only one with a darker side. I'm going to tear you now, but... Any more card plays. I guess I could discard just to get it card plays for an interrogate, which is a little weird, but in a way it would work. Otherwise, I could just hold on to this and have the interrogate next turn. I guess we'll just have the interrogate next turn. This will be fine. All right, we'll go ahead and call that good. That bleed, ouch. Support units on the move. Think we've got the upper hand. Can we trigger the alarm again? Time is almost up. No. Do as much as you right. can. Oh, yeah, we can. Which I think is a good idea to do. Don't let up. The more you take down here, the less we have to deal with later. And a lot will never let ups now, so we can be very aggressive with this, I think. I don't really have any like good AOE damages right now though. I mean it's probably a good time to do never let up, other than the fact that we just don't have the heroism. Actually what I probably should do is use up some card plays, so things like uh the knee strike, things of that nature. For example, let's knee strike. I don't know, one of these that's targeting magic. Let's just do this one, but no, we'll do that. Oh, that means it won't target magic anymore. So yeah, we'll do this one. This is fine. Ready up. As they say, it gets the job done. Okay, and then this is a free ability, so we can do that even when we have nothing else. So let's do the interrogate real quick. Hear it. I mean, the whole point of this mission is to be greedy, right? That's why we're summoning in more, more enemies. Uh, I think we'll take the... Well, we don't actually have anything attacking her right now, so the regroup doesn't really help us. The heal would get us... Well, card draws don't help us either. We'd rather have the card draws next time. I guess Limbo's Grasp would be fine. Um, I don't know. We'll just put it over here somewhere. Just have it targeting this guy with the shield or something. This will certainly help. All right. Never let up. It's a good time to do that. We will lose all these, but that's okay. All right. Morning Star will let us kill something else. Such as this guy, which will get us the... Oh, we didn't... Why did we get credit for... Oh, with magic. I misread that. I, that's what I get for not reading, guys. Nothing is targeting um, Captain Marvel right now. Oh, we did lose our other... Um, never let up. I did not realize that. So, the best we could do is kill this guy. Right. Um, nope, we won't have... We won't have quite enough damage to kill this guy. We can try. We'll get do the Morning Star first. I didn't. I didn't think about it discarding the Never Let Ups as well. Not bad. I'm mean, not that we have a choice. We had two Never Let Ups. Nothing we can do about it. Works for you. Alright, should be able to still knock you back, right? Yep. Ouch. Alright, the yeah, other's really good, obviously. 
Hunt each enemy in an area. Gain one counter. No, we just want to grab this so we can kill some of the mobs that, well, we're actually not going to kill that many of them, unfortunately, but I guess it'd be better to do something like that. We kill more mobs. Still only one more of the stacking magic, which is unfortunate. We really need to get a taunt on her, actually. Um, let's redraw. Let's redraw this. So if we get some sort of Ileana taunt, we'd be in a good spot. Does she even have one? I don't actually don't know if she has one. I mean, I'd like to use this. But... Okay, there's a lot of mobs targeting her that would just die if they attacked her. But, uh... I really need to redraw more than anything. And the reason I'm keeping this one is because... She could taunt everything. Same thing as kind of the call to arms, basically. Just instead of... These will just give her a counter. For what's taunting her, or attacking her. This will taunt everything, make sure it does attack her. So we get maybe some free kills at the end. So I think we will redraw this one. Yeah, this doesn't really help us. I mean, it gives us plus one redraw, but... No. Alright. We'll just have to do this. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the uh, challenge finished. Because I can't read. What else is new? This will come to you. They cannot possibly match your strength. All right, we are going to taunt all of these to make sure they're attacking Captain Marvel. She'll do some hitbacks, which I don't think will be enough to kill anything, but we might as well. That's the best chance we got of doing something here. I'm here to help. Think I can punch through a moon now? I mean, obviously, the way it turned out, I should have just used her thing for the counter. Because this thing, guy would have been killed for sure, but that's all right. I guess we do still have some of these. I forgot about. Um, Oh, it's, it's just magic, really. Why is it just magic on this one? It's interesting. I don't know if this is really going to help us, but we'll do it. More than oh, he KO'd him. 49% chance and he KO'd him. Wow. Um, okay, then... I guess we could throw this at you. Even though you do have a counter, I mean, we might as well get some guaranteed kills here where we can. Yeah, if we just used that counter on this guy, we definitely would have killed him. Don't think this guy dies from her, but you never know. Uh, we don't have any counter items, right? I think I've, I've, I keep looking for that, even though I know we don't. No, I think this is fine. Um, 23 enemies for bonus reward. We are so close, Knight. Don't have any extra moves or anything. Increased offense by one. I mean, this would give her a much better chance of killing that thing. But again, without killing this, there's no, there's no value. She needed a counter. We should have kept her counter. Wow. I mean, there's no reason to do this, but we'll just use it because it's an ability. Sure, into you. Once again. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, it actually does. Oh, it does give us the redraw. That's right. But we don't have any cards, so it doesn't matter. Ugh. All right. Well, we did the best we could. Didn't get to 23, unfortunately. I could have, too. I could have done things a little bit differently. Could have gotten there. 
if she kills this thing right here, I'm going to feel really bad. Okay, she didn't kill it anyway. So we wouldn't have gotten a 23 anyway. Oh, well. Let's do things slightly differently. I definitely think we get to 23. Still pretty good. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will probably have a mission, like a, a campaign mission. We'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.